In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be showing you how to get A-gap pressure from your nose tackle in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is designed to help you learn how to get better at Madden 21, whether it be through some type of tip that I give, some type of tactic, or some type of concept that I cover in my videos. I share four videos a day here with you guys on YouTube, and so if that's something that interests you and you want to get better at this game, one of the things I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right here on the screen, and right next to it is a little bell icon. If you click that, it's going to allow you to turn on the notifications that's going to help for whenever we go live with our nightly live streams at 10 o'clock i'd love to see you guys come to our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time we stream every single night all right guys so nickel 335 and we are talking this is in the 46 playbook right i wrote a book on this playbook and if you want to pick up that book you can pick it up in the description it's my madden 21 competitive bundle guide but we're going to be talking about the nickel 335 three overload fire press now this is a concept out of nickel 35 that you can do from other plays which we cover that in the guide but this specific blitz right here is pretty interesting so literally all you're going to do is you're going to press coverage you'll see that this right linebacker or this left of screen linebacker likes to slip down in here and all we're going to do is we're going to crash our line to the right and then we're going to rezone that defensive tackle on the right side into a hook so we're basically just kind of resetting a line crash and then what we're going to do is we are going to run down to the point that the guard recognizes our user, and then we're going to bail out into coverage. Snap of the ball, run down, and then we come back into coverage. And as you can see right there, we can jump on those slants, we can jump on those middle post routes, and still get that A-gap pressure. Let me show you what's going on in instant replay here so you guys can understand why this blitz works so well. So at the snap of the ball, this tackle, you see he is looking at this middle linebacker but because the middle linebacker is going to come right over the a gap what you're going to see is there's an overload on the left hand side so they have to slide to the left to pick up that overload well the guard is then going to recognize oh crap the middle linebacker is blitzing me in the a gap and they're going to prioritize the user rush over the shoot of the nose guard and as you can see here you get very very simple a gap pressure this is one of the more consistent a gaps that i have found uh in this year's game literally um this is going to work pretty much every time uh, whoops i'm sorry i spied him on accident we did get the edge pressure and if they and, and i have a concept you know that i've been talking about this a lot this year but basically what i'm what i'm trying to get people to understand is if you really want your um if you really want see there we got a gap and edge pressure if you really want your a gap or your edge pressure to work in my opinion at least in this year's game you've got to commit to running some type of A-gap pressure. As you see there, if they pick up the A-gap pressure, I'm telling you right now, if they pick up the A-gap pressure, you're gonna get edge pressure. What I like about this is this is literally sitting four um, at the quarterback. That time I didn't go down enough with my user. But as long as you, it's it's basically four and a half, right? Because you're you're gonna run down with your user a little bit on this, on this uh, blitz. But literally I'm just gonna run down here a little bit, let it go, and then come back out into coverage. And as you can see, I'm going to be able to get that edge pressure. Now, what they're going to have to start doing, and this is where it's going to get tricky, is they're going to have to start double teaming your nose tackle. Well, once they double team your nose tackle, what you're going to find here is this is going to scream off the edge, as you can see right there. Literally, very, very simple edge pressure. So that's my idea of where I say you use your a gap pressure to set up your edge pressure. And if you do that, you're going to be very, very successful in this year's game, in my opinion, as from a blitzing standpoint. So that's one of the best blitzes in the game. Nickel 55, normal. Um, you got great coverage from it. Uh, what's cool about it is you can adjust the coverage however you want. One of the things that I like to do uh, from a coverage standpoint, it does depend. Let me show you this really quickly uh, against some different slide protections and things like that because I haven't talked about that too much. But you'll see once it gets through and you see right there, you're going to get that edge pressure or you're going to get that A gap. Um, and the running back's going to have to decide, you know, who am I going to pick up? And to me, this is one of the better blitzes in band right now. I mean, this. There's not much they can do to stop this because if the running back blocks, the running back is either going to take the user or he's going to take the edge player. And so they're going to have, you know, they're, it's just going to put your offensive line, like this play to me really does put the offensive line in a bind. You see you've got the delay blitz coming off the edge. Now, the coverage, how do you fix the coverage behind it? Well, what I like to do is I typically like to play cover two out of this. So I'll do something like this right here, and then I've got, I basically am responsible for the left-hand side in the middle, or I could just drop it to something like this. I got my cloud set a quick, quick uh, yardage, 
you know, it's just a quick read. And as you can see here, it's just challenging. You got to make a quick read. You got to get out of this. So um, this is Nickel 55 Overload Press. I think this is one of the better blitzes in the game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you guys have not already picked up my defensive ebook, I do want to encourage you to do that. Um, that defensive ebook, we talk more about how to play defense in Madden 21, not just blitzes, not just money tactics, but we really talk about what do you do. We go through film study analysis. We talk through adjustments. We do all those things. We're actually going to be updating the ebook as well with other formations um, from the 4-6 playbook, some of the most popular ones, the Big Nickel over G, the Dollar 326, the Nickel 335, 335 wide, normal, 4-6 bear, bear under, normal, and 3-4 bear. So, um, guys, it's my Men 21 competitive bundle. It's in the description below. Um, a lot of great feedback so far we've taken people from beginner players to play in really high level top 100 all that stuff so um if you are sitting there and you're like man i don't know what to do on defense or i don't know what to do on offense or you just want some successful tactics that are going to help you i think that guide is definitely worth your money you can check it out in the description of this video other than that guys i would ask right now that you go ahead and jump into my discord discord is completely free it's a great place to start with getting better at madden because um, you're going to surround yourself with better competition and the key to getting better in anything is to get yourself better mentors, to get yourself better competition. And so that Discord has just been amazing. I've been so proud of some of the guys that have been in there um, helping people get better because our community here uh, at Madden 21 Tips and Tricks, our goal is simply to take you from where you are to where you want to be, help you get better at this game. Not because we're necessarily the best players, but because we're trying to get better as well and we just want to um, pay it forward like that. So. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. We've got four more or three more videos coming today as well as a live stream tonight for Madden 21.